Laravel version 12.20. Ben Askew contributed context. Remember, and remember hidden functions, which will add the results of the provided closure to the context if not already present and always return the results. So before what you used to have to do is context has, and you check to see if a key existed. If it did have that, then you'd have to retrieve it. Otherwise you would have to go set it and then return it, right? And so it was not friendly. And so with this, you can now say context remember, you can pass in the key, then you can pass in a closure, which will either return the value of that key or will set it using the result of that closure. So it's really much nicer. Thanks, Ben, for writing that one up. Michael Japa reads it. Contributed a fail when method to the throttles exception middleware. So currently this middleware only allows for deleting the job when a specific exception is thrown. There are occasions where you would want to mark the job as failed instead. For instance, in the context of a job chain, it may be desirable to fail a job when an exception is thrown so that the chain stops executing rather than deleting the job from the chain there. So an example is given, you have this middleware, throttle the exceptions, delete when, fail when, and so you can now do either one of those. Uh, so that's really nice. Pull request 56180 for details if you need. Punyapal Shah contributed a new fake method to the queue facade that allows the same pattern used by the event facade. So before you'd have to queue fake, and then afterward you'd have to do some manual cleanup that was required. Now you can do queue fake four, and then you can pass in a closure there. The original queue is automatically restored once that's done. So it only fakes for that particular instance and then allows you to do selective job faking there. It also allows your critical jobs to be queued normally while you're faking the others. So really nice addition there. 